Okay, this is our first uh, video interview in English. And tonight, as the fan as I am of a progressive sound, and as sure you are as well, we are with the one and only, then, Nick Warren. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm very good, thank you. It's uh, great to be here in Punter again. Okay, yeah. Is this your first time in uh, this lovely country that is Uruguay? No, no, I've been coming to uh, Uruguay for about 10 or 12 years now. Uh, first of all, it was in Jose Ignacio at the old cream bar, and then uh, Montevideo, obviously, and Punta, but uh, uh, this is the second time I've, I've been in Oval. Okay, um, we have been reading some of your information, your website, really? so we have some questions, yes, quick yeah. ones. Now, we know that you started the New Year's evening in Budapest, Hungary. Yeah, yeah of course. So, um, what's it like then, what's the vibe for a party in New Year's evening? And uh, also, uh, do you have any special ritual for this kind of parties away from home? To be honest, it's not the best night of the year. <laughs> it's not? It's not really as a DJ, because uh, uh, midnight is the peak. So, it's never going to be better than midnight. Because everybody's been waiting for that, hey, it's Happy New Year. So, your biggest record is never as big as midnight. So, it's, it's good fun, it's great to see friends, great to see the crowd. But it's not my best, it's not my favourite night of the year. Okay. Good, now our next question is um, the Amsterdam Dance Event. Yes. It's um, a big event, it takes Amsterdam by storm for quite l quite a lot of days. Yeah, yeah. And um, in our first cycle of our podcast and webcast, we mentioned then that you have a party along with Hernan Catania yeah. on the Panama Club. Now, what can you tell us about the vibe that uh, takes then Amsterdam on those days? What's the special vibe about that, that event? Well, ADE is a really special event for us because it means that all of the industry is there. It's very rare that, that as a DJ I travel and I see everybody I know. And for ADE, you walk down the street, you bump into the local dice, Sven Vey, Sasha, John Digweed, Hanan Catania, Guy J. They're all there. So it's really nice to see everybody. And the parties are fantastic. Uh, people that travel from all over the world to go to the parties. Me and Hanan, uh, we've been doing these back-to-back -back sets, which we've done for a few years now. Really successful. Great crowd. We're both lucky that the, the Dutch like our music. And, and we like the Dutch. So, you know, it works. I watched the after movie. Uh, at first, before yeah. watching the after movie, I thought, okay, everybody there is going to be DJ and producer and yeah. a promoter whatsoever. But there were actual clubbers there. <laughs> yeah, it was mainly clubbers. All the DJs and producers are stood uh, backstage and all the clubbers are dancing. So, <laughs> guess which ones I love the most. Yeah. So, behind you is a kind of boiler room. Yeah, and kind of thing. <laughs> or it's just like a backspace where everyone meets and, and has a drink and, and talks. It's nice. Yeah, it's a good thing. Okay. You also mentioned then other festival that is quite different, uh, that is the Burning Man. Yeah. What, what's the experience on that festival? Burning Man is great because there's nothing else like it you know it, um, uh, most of the dance festivals they're the same in every country really but Burning Man is just completely off the chart you know there's hippies and more hippies and more hippies and more hippies there's people wandering around with no clothes on with with all their things that are painted it's just amazing all these art cars installations it's more of an art the festival I think uh, uh, what's great is that the DJs and the music come second to the festival and uh, and all the best festivals are like that uh, Glastonbury festival in the UK is my favorite and, and you know it's the experience more than going to see someone you know? So it's art and music all together. Yeah, it's always been the best way to do things. Now let's uh, talk about some business of yours. Let's yeah. talk about Hope Recordings. How yeah. did you start it? Why? What was the motivation? Well, it wasn't me that started it. It was my uh, two buddies, Stephen and Leon, who were also my managers. They started it back in the early 90s. I came on board about oh, seven, eight years ago. And it's... It, it, it's um, a record label now is a difficult business to have. Nobody really wants to pay for their music, 
so it's really a passion more than a sound uh, business idea. I don't think we've taken any money out of the business since I've been there. You know, it really is. Um, 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 we make a profit that goes to the artist. So, um, so it's more of a, a passion for us to find a new artist to make amazing music and give them a platform uh, to release that music. So do you think uh, the business is moving much more toward live performances and uh, having DJs on the stage and just the records? Yeah, I think it's about everything. It's the way a performance is how you make your money now. It's very difficult to make a living out of uh, selling records. So I think that uh, DJs have become uh, more and more uh, their producers. And I think if you're a, a producer who is confident and, and loves their own music, at some stage they want to play live, you know, and that's what lots of DJs are doing now. Uh, Dubfire is doing a live show now. Um, uh, Jody Westenhoff and I have got a new Wear West album coming out this year, and we'll be doing lots of live shows for that. So yeah, it's a, it's a mixture of the DJing and the live uh, performance is a good fun. Uh, the DJing is a lot easier, to be honest. You know, just stood there uh, mixing. I'm much that's much easier than uh, playing instruments. So, um, but then it's great fun to do both. Our last question will be, what are your plans then for 2015? It, it, um, um, it's a busy year again. Um, what am I doing? Um, say, say there's Miami Music Conference coming up and, and, Hannah, and, I and, and Hannah and I are doing a boat party there. Uh, uh, Jody Wissanoff and I have got the new Wet West album coming out. I've got a new single coming out on Bedrock with Guy Mansa next month. The summer's going to be full of festivals and gigs. And I'm going to try and fit in a little bit of fly fishing in between it all as well. So you will have some time to enjoy yourself. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. If people let me. Okay. So you have heard from the man it's himself. Uh, as the snow melts in Europe and all across the North Globe, be ready for the festivals. He will be there. We hope that everyone else <laughs> will be there as well. Thank you so much for your time. We know that the time is a tyrant when you are on tour. I know, I need to go so, to bed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Any words for all of your fans in South America? It's, it, it's my favorite place in the world. I think everybody knows that I love coming here. The crowds are incredible, the clubs are incredible, the country, the food, everything is great in South America. You have heard him, he's here, he's happy, and he will give us a lot of pleasure with the progressive sound that we all love tonight. Thank you so much, have a good one. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.